My name is Usman Dallami Stingo, a citizen and an indigen of Dogonoma in Kaju local government area of Kaduna State. Where I am standing at the moment, I am standing on the mass grave of our people who were massacred on the 11th of March. 2019 by Fulani armed terrorists. On that fateful day, when our people woke up, people were waking up from around 6 to 6.30 in the morning. All of a sudden, they had shouts of Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, incantations of the, of the Islamic uh, people. When people were beginning to come out from their houses to see what was happening, all they could see were armed Fulani terrorists who were dressed in black, others in white kaftans, some others with uh, military camouflage uniforms, carrying sophisticated weapons, AK-47s and the likes. Some others were carrying cutlasses and matches. They had, you know, a kind of a semi-cycling of the community. So when the people realized that they were being, you know, surrounded, they began to run helter-skelter. As they began to run into the bushes, lo and behold, many did not know that the killers, the invaders, were, you know, in the bushes. So... Some made their waterloo in the bushes. Some were, you know, shot dead. Some were macheted. Some who were sick were wrapped with their beddings and set ablaze. Houses were burned down. Food crops were burned down. Motorcycles were burned. Other equipment were burned. While most of the valuables, like motorcycles and other valuables, were looted by this, you know, by the invaders. Uh, what surprises us most is the, you know, unprovoked attack. Unprovoked because Dogonoma and the entirely entire Ungwangamu community has been peaceful. We've never had any quarrel. We've never have had any problem with the Fulani before that time. They will say warranted, you know, the attacks on our people. We've been hearing narratives by government and other, you know, sectors of the people that the Fulani had been on a reprisal. We've tried to find out the meaning, the definition of a reprisal. We failed to understand what is meant by reprisal. You attack and you know. An innocent community, and so you're going on a reprisal. We don't know how, we have no history of any, you know, uh, qualms, you know, with this Fulani before now. So we've been taken aback as to why this attack, this attack actually happened. Even the Kaduna State Governor, Nasser Erufai, met that narration, and other government agencies within and without the state. That the Fulani were always on a reprisal. As I am talking to you, I don't know the site of any Fulani grave burial. The site of any that Fulani were buried, they were killed as a result of attacks. I do not know where such a place exists. But here we are, standing on the mass grave of our people that were killed on 11th of March 2019. And so many others. If you go to Karamai, there's a mass grave there. If you go to uh, Ngombarde, there's a mass grave there. Go to Badono and Gwaku, there's a mass grave. Go to Machali, there's a mass grave. Go to Tudu, Doka, there's a mass grave. Go to Agwalama Gayaki, Doka, there's a mass grave. All, go to Gonan Rogo, on the Doka again, there's a mass grave. All these places, you know, are saturated with mass graves. And uh, up till now, we're here to find answers as to where these attacks took place 
that the reprisal, you know, is on us. Well, our wants may differ from our expectations. But we want government to be proactive. We want government to do the needful. The first and foremost responsibility of government, any government, be it at the national, state, or local, is the security of lives and property of the citizenry. In Kaduna State, I will say that is what government has failed woefully in doing. Because the killings have been going, you know, unabated, unstopped in various communities of the local government. Various communities.